In seconds, plans to say I do were disrupted as a woman came barging into the church, claiming matrimonial rights over a man ready to wed another. This happened in Lusaka and the entire episode has since gone awash on social media, capturing a string of comments much more so becoming public debate agenda. ZNBC has spoken to the man who chose to remain anonymous. To he describes the history of his marriage to his um, first wife. Yeah, my ex, we had a life that we shared. Yeah, and then things couldn't work out on the way when I lost my job. She showed me colors that I never thought she would. Uh, in the process, I, I, I've been working with the one I wedded. I'm a businessman, so we are working together. And... Uh, uh, I, I, I shared the shares between my new wife and, and my ex, of the, at the moment my ex, though I have to you know, clear things by the courts that I'm no longer part of her life. Sorry, you said you have to clear things with the courts that she's no longer part of your life. What we, does that mean exactly? I, I, we, are, we are actually arranging to meet with parents, parents from my side and her side. Then I want to declare that I'm no longer interested in, in sharing a life with her. Later, he breaks down when he talks about the emotional stress caused by this public embarrassment. And before we went to the wedding, I told her that myself, I'm marrying this way, this woman. And please, I know it's not easy. But she did not understand. I know she's emotional, so she was hate. Even me, I'm hate. There's no person. I'm not a person who harm people. I'm not... My entire life I've lived a decent life. Those people who know me from business circles, family, I'm just a good person that you find today smiling, doing all good stuff. But this thing just came and just came with a bang. He says he has chosen to spend his life with the bride in the picture and his ex needs to accept that it's over. Going forward, what, what, what happened after the disruption of the wedding? We proceeded and we did a kitchen party, but we did know that we were surrounded with enemies. The pictures were still, you know, being taken and, and, and posted on social media. Meanwhile, the names attributed to him on social media are not his after all. Pendop Sikazwe, ZNBC News, Lusaka. How do you come clean out of it? Because people saw that video and the woman said what she said. 
can you tell us what happened there? Who is that woman? Is she your wife? Like, I've got a lot of questions, but see if you can answer them. Is she your wife? Were you from home yesterday? What happened? Um, what happened? Just tell us what's happening. Yes, that woman, uh, I was with her uh, from 2001, somewhere there, 2002, when we had children. So, uh, there's a time when I was working, you know, the sister, you know, when I was in the Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. There's a time I was working, and then apparently I lost my job. Okay. And she left me. First of all, before she left me, she started working for Giant Technology, the uh, MTN company, something like that, share with MTN. So she started dressing in me, then I started crying and complaining. My dear, we agreed that you will wait and you bring some part of the money to the family so that we see the children. But now look, you are, you are, you seem like you are very super at work, you are dressing in many she said, leave me alone. She said, please wait, I don't love you. That's what she used to say. Uh, uh, get your life. If you don't have anything to do, leave me. This new man who collects trash. With a vision of business of flash. Because I know that you used to you used to have this business of co uh, of collecting. Yes, I used to do waste management. I registered by then waste management. By the time she left me, I was not active. I didn't have plant. I didn't have anything. Mm -hmm. So that's the time I was beginning. And she didn't believe in what I was going to say. At some point, I'll be big and I'll be recognized. You know. So she left me in the village that I never had money, and her family came. She was talking to her grandmother, and they were saying. Okay, so that's the time she left me. And when she left me, I cried, I so bad, I, I, I cried, I was in a mess. I thought this person is the time she was supposed to defend me from the family and show me that she loves me. Uh -huh. But from the time she left me, I was praying, I was praying, and I started my business, I believed in myself. And when she when did she leave you? I got contracts here and there, I managed to buy trucks, I managed to, you know, to position myself. And then now that I'm, I'm, I'm getting bigger, she just wants to resurface and cause havoc. But even before then, before that wedding, I told her that, my dear, I have this woman, maybe I, I, maybe I go edit it back. When she left me, I met this woman that I was wedding yesterday. Mm -hmm. That woman, I did not go to her like I'm a womanizer. I'm not a womanizer myself. God showed me that this is the woman that I want to give you. This woman is, has done account and she, she, she's, you know, capable of managing your finances in business. So I said, fine, this is the woman you're going to marry and to manage your financial issues. So, marry her. So now I get that woman from the time that I left in 2013. Every person who sees me, I'm in two lovers, I'm everywhere with that woman on every single day. So now I've never changed the women that people are putting it. So now, I told that same one who came to make that news. I told that say, my dear, I am married. She's been pestering me, no, blah, 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 this and this. So I said, my dear, but...